Well, praise the Lord. This is Bishop Thomas E. Douglas and the Holy Temple Holiness Church of Deliverance. Holy Temple located at 3798 Northwest 19th Street in the city of Lauder Hill, Florida. Call a friend and tell him now that the Holy Temple Holiness Church of Deliverance is now on the air. Well, people of God, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I am so excited about being here this uh, evening because I recognize that there is strength in the atmosphere for a mighty miracle for somebody. Uh, you might have had a trying day uh, and a difficult afternoon, uh, but God is getting ready to deliver uh, amen, a mighty miracle on your doorstep. Uh, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice uh, and be glad in it. Uh, we want you to understand that in this broadcast, it is the power of prayer, the spoken word of God. Uh, and somewhere along the line, we will be speaking, uh, amen, a word into your life to encourage you to continue to hold fast uh, to the profession of your faith. We're living in a time now where well, the kingdom of God uh, is under attack and the foundational principles of the gospel uh, is being, glory be to God, uh, attacked on every hand. Uh, but I know in whom I serve and in whom uh, I believe, for I'm not ashamed uh, of the gospel of Christ. It is the power unto salvation. Uh, it was given to the Jews first, amen, and then to the Greek. Uh, but God allowed us to be grafted into the body of Christ. Uh, Therefore, I will present my body as a living sacrifice, understanding uh, that my life is not my own. I want you uh, to be encouraged and are trying to hold fast to the profession of your faith, uh, that there is, amen, an apostolic agreement uh, that God has, amen, imparted in our spirit, uh, that we will hold fast to his principles, uh, amen, even though things are changing all around us. Uh, uh, God said he was the same yesterday, the same today, and the same forever. Uh, do not worry, he will come. He that tarry, uh, amen, will come because the Lord uh, is not slack concerning his promise. If he spoke it, uh, shall he not do it? Look, God uh, has the ability, amen, to touch your body, to sin, uh, amen, a powerful word of God, uh, amen, through the spirit of prayer, in the atmosphere, uh, even to your vessel that's being racked with pain, uh, healing power and virtue can flow out of the mouths uh, of God's chosen vessels uh, because he has given them the power, uh, amen, glory be to God, to speak. Uh, amen. Concerning your situation. Uh, or last week we were talking about the power and dominion that God gave Adam in the garden. Uh, amen. He gave him an apostolic authority. And with that authority... He gave him uh, a mandate to uh, be fruitful, multiply, fill, replenish the earth, name the animals, tend the garden. Uh, these are things that come along with assignment. Uh, that's why I wanted to teach this morning, glory be to God, a little bit about the call uh, that is upon our lives and the responsibility uh, that comes along with the call. Uh, Jeremiah 1 and 5 said, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee, and before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee and ordained thee a prophet. Here God was talking about the prophet, amen, Jeremiah. In the book of Jeremiah, the, uh, it's a prophecy of a man divinely called in his youth, uh, glory be to God, to the priest city of uh, Anathoth. Uh, and here in this particular uh, scripture, a heartbroken prophet with a heartbreaking message. Jeremiah labors more than, amen, 40 years here in the scripture. Uh, glory be to God, saying what God has ordained him to say to a people uh, that was consistently rebelling against the standard, the principle, uh, and the word of God. Uh, even from the beginning when God allowed the authority, the apostolic anointing, the corporate uh, amen, mandate that he has put on the kingdom of God. Uh, amen. It was always under attack. There's always somebody trying uh, to shift, to change, to tear down, to dilute. Uh, glory be to God and adulterate God's spoken word. We know that in the beginning when God decreed that there was, amen, a need for light, he said, let 
there be light. And according to the scriptures, there was light. Uh, you see, you must search your circumstances and determine uh, amen, whatever the need is and go to God for the power. Uh, glory be to God. God put it this way. He said, one planet, one water, but it is God that will give you the increase. There is power in the spoken word. There is power in prayer. And after the Holy Ghost come upon you, uh, you shall have power. And so we know for a fact that, uh, glory be to God, in Isaiah, it talks about Christ and the full yoke, amen, and bondage uh, rest upon the shoulders. It talks about the coming of God uh, and how the, amen, the yokes and the bondage of the nation, amen, will rest upon his shoulders. Uh, and through the strength of Christ, by the power of God, uh, we can do all things uh, through Christ that strength is us. So never look at your situation as too difficult to be delivered for defeat must come subject to the power of God's spoken word. Uh, we must have the ability to understand that God, uh, amen, is not saving us or calling us into this realm, uh, amen, of ability and anointing uh, for us to be annihilated by the devil. He sent the, amen, disciples out two by two and they came back and reported uh, that even the very demons are subject to his word. Uh, and I want you to look at this, amen, from the context that I am delivering, uh, amen, this morning, that even the very things that you cannot handle yourself uh, with the power of God's anointing and authority put upon it, it can become manageable in your life. You, amen, that are laying on your sickbed and cannot see, uh, amen, any hope in the future, uh, the, the power of God's word and the mandate that he has placed upon your life, uh, the destiny that his, he has delivered uh, unto your doorstep, that deliverance draw it nigh, uh, through the power of the spoken word of God, it can shift things uh, and even make the very elements of nature uh, move around and come together, uh, amen, in your favor. Uh, do not ever think that all is lost. Uh, glory be to God. Remember, the race is not given to the swift. Neither is it given to the strong, but to the one that endureth until the end. We're living in a time when there, amen, is a strong sense of immediate gratification. Uh, glory be to God. There's a process to deliverance. There's a process to receiving his power. There's a process uh, in walking in this apostolic anointing. Uh, we can tell when you walk in the anointing because your hope and your trust in the Lord will increase. Eh? Amen. Glory be to God. It will intensify. Uh, you will say within your spirit, there is nothing uh, too hard for the Lord. Uh, and no matter what walks into your church uh, or your house of prayer that seems uh, impossible, it is a challenge unto you uh, because you hope and you trust uh, in the name of the Lord. Uh, that's why when we call uh, on the name of the Lord, he promised us that we shall be saved, then we shall be delivered. Uh, but if you let your mind, uh, amen, stay on Christ Jesus, he will keep it uh, in perfect peace. Uh, that's why he tells us in the 23rd song uh, that he was our shepherd uh, and we shall not want. Uh, see, when God becomes the head uh, of your life uh, and you put him first in all faith, According to the Bible, we got to seek ye first uh, the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness. Uh, and see, when you begin to look, uh, amen, at the situation through the eyes of God, uh, you will realize that there is nothing impossible for God. Uh, I want to command everything uh, that would exalt itself against God to come subject uh, to the power of his spoken word. Uh, there's so many people out there that are lost. Uh, Lord be to God because the word of God is not spoken in his fullness. Even the Lord himself uh, amen, has allowed us to hear in the scriptures uh, that when this gospel is preached until the, all the earth did shall the end come. There is uh, amen, a gospel uh, that will annihilate the kingdom of God. You must not be afraid to assault the kingdom of God uh, and to assault the uh, kingdom of Satan rather uh, and to assault his tactics uh, because there is a, a plot and a plan to infiltrate in that which is pure uh, and leaven so it can leaven the entire lump. 
That's why when sin, uh, amen, is present, glory be to God, uh, there cannot be, amen, uh, pleasure in the eyesight of God. Uh, because the Lord himself said in the scriptures, uh, glory be to God, through the eyes of God, righteousness exalts a nation. Uh, but sin is a reproach to any people. Uh, that's why we are to walk in the standards of God. Uh, I know Paul said we die daily, uh, but there's a place you can get in that you can live. Uh, amen. Sin free. Uh, glory be to God. Until you get into this place, uh, amen, where your hope, your trust, your mindset, uh, your life is hidden in the hand of God. Uh, there's a place that you can get in Christ if you are in him. Uh, you can live sin free. Uh, glory be to God for the Bible said, uh, glory be to God, if we be in him, we cannot sin because his seed uh, is on the inside. Well, preacher, why is there so much sin? Uh, amen. In violation uh, of the standards and ordinance of God, uh, it is because the people uh, have a form of godliness, uh, but deny it the power. There's a place that you can get in Christ uh, that you can rest solely and uh, have entire, uh, glory be to God, complete confidence in him, uh, and God will saturate you, uh, amen, with comfort, satisfaction, uh, amen, until the day of your deliverance, uh, but when we walk in the spirit, uh, according to the word of God, we will not uh, fulfill the lust of the flesh, uh, and you see, because the spirit spirit man, uh, amen, has power over everything uh, that is being presented from the earth realm. Uh, but the Bible plainly said that the spirit does not strive uh, with man always because he is yet also flesh. Uh, see, flesh don't want to suffer. Flesh you don't want to go through flesh. Don't want to deny yourself. If any man want to be my disciples according to the scriptures, he must first deny himself pick up his cross uh, and follow me. In this as people say, amen, I want to live my life. Church is binding me up. Serving the Lord is grievous. Uh, but I want you to know it's only uh, difficult because uh, of a transgression. Uh, because the way of a transgressor it's hard, uh, but they that are walking, uh, amen, in the spirit realm, uh, in the spirit of the living God, uh, they understand God's principles, uh, they acknowledge God's word, uh, and they apply it to their lives uh, that they may not sin against him in the future. Uh, the enemy is even coming to try to attack and tear down uh, the ordinance and the standard statutes uh, that God has established from the beginning of time. Uh, even, glory be to God, the sanctity of marriage. Uh, the enemy is coming, glory be to God, uh, and bringing the world completely in the church. Uh, the church is lusting after the world. There is no separation. Uh, there's no difference between that which is holy uh, and that which is unholy. Uh, but the word of the Lord must be made manifest. Uh, glory be to God. Fornication uh, is rampant in the kingdom. Uh, and no one wants to speak and to stand uh, against the spirit of seduction uh, that has hit the house of prayer. Uh, glory be to God. Christ said, my house uh, shall be called the house of prayer. Uh, for all people, but you have made it uh, a den of thieves. Uh, you see, sometimes we can allow the wrong thing to take precedent in the house of God uh, just because it feel good, uh, just because it tickles our ears, uh, amen, and it pleases and amuses our spirit. Uh, but the word of the Lord uh, must be, glory be to God, the foundation uh, that we build upon. Uh, if everything go down, praise dance and go down. Uh, praise and worship might cease, uh, but the word of God will stand forever. Uh, and 
no matter what goes on in the house of prayer, you can have a great concert, glory be to God, uh, an awesome praise dance routine, uh, amen, glory be to God, uh, awesome singing and anointed uh, worship. Uh, but except the word be preached uh, in the house of prayer, uh, there will be no deliverance uh, because deliverance comes through the word. Uh, the Bible said, how can they believe uh, on whom they never heard? Uh, and how can they hear uh, except it be a preacher? Uh, and how can he preach uh, except he be sent? Uh, there must be an opportunity uh, to hear the spoken word of God. Uh, in order for the word uh, to impact, infiltrate, uh, and bring about a change in your life. Uh, song won't do it uh, to the Bible. Uh, the word of God does not go out there void. Uh, it will accomplish what it intends. Uh, and so if you walk in with an issue, uh, something should be heard. Uh, amen. In your spirit uh, that will address your issue, issue uh, through the power of the spoken word. Uh, and so when the word of God come in his fullness, uh, it would root up, pull down, uh, amen, build and destroy. Uh, and oftentimes in order for God, uh, amen, to bring a reconciliation, uh, there must be a rearrangement and a rebuilding according to the word. Uh, that's why the Bible declared that, amen, he sent Amen. One down to the potter's house. Uh, amen. Sometimes we got to go to the potter's house uh, and be placed on that wheel and reshape it uh, and remold it that we be in the image of God uh, because we lost God's image uh, fooling with man. Uh, we lose God's image uh, fooling with our flesh. Uh, our flesh desire things uh, that are incompatible uh, with the Holy Scriptures. Uh, and we got the unmitigated goal uh, and the audacity to try to force God uh, to accept what he has already denied. Uh, but the power of the word of God uh, can come in and touch our minds. Uh, for the Bible said, let this mind be in you, uh, which was also in Christ Jesus. Uh, it can come in our hearts. Uh, and rearrange our thought patterns. Uh, for the scripture says, as a man thinketh in his heart, uh, so is he. Uh, and when we present our bodies uh, as a living sacrifice, uh, put it on the whole armor of God, uh, that we might be able to stand uh, against the wiles of the devil. Uh, you see, the enemy is slick. Uh, he's very conniving. Uh, the serpent was more subtle uh, than any animal that God has ever made. Uh, he was a slickster in the garden uh, and he's still a slickster in the church today. Uh, so we're not ignorant uh, to Satan's devices. Uh, we understand that God uh, has given the spirit of discernment uh, and prophetic utterance and government uh, that we might be able to keep uh, that which we have committed uh, into his hands against that day. Uh, we're not falling prey uh, to the trending of the world, uh, but we're trying and living uh, to be steadfast, unmovable, uh, always abounding uh, in the work of the Lord. Uh, for we recognize that our labor will not be in vain. Uh, we're not going to allow the enemy uh, to shift our focus. Uh, we're not going to be distracted uh, by the things that are going on. Uh, but as for me and my house, uh, as for me and the church uh, that God has given me assignment over, uh, we shall serve God uh, in the beautiness of holiness, uh, in the fullness of the gospel, uh, in the unadulterated and preaching uh, it might not be pleasing to something uh, but Paul put it this way uh, my speech and my preaching uh, is not with enticing words of man's wisdom uh, but it came in power uh, and love and a sound mind uh, I'm not ignorant to Satan's devices uh, but I understand that he comes in the kingdom uh, he goes into the temple and the church house uh, and he tries to bind up the strong men 
and uh, he's critical of that which is right uh, and he compromised with that which is wrong. Uh, that is the MO, the modus operandi of the devil. Uh, if it's God, glory be to God. He don't like it. Uh, but if it edifies the flesh, he's with it. You should be able to discern, uh, even in your house, uh, the spirit of the Antichrist uh, and the spirit of the enemy uh, that's trying to come in uh, and lock down holy teaching uh, and lock down righteous principles uh, and try to substitute, uh, amen, the things of the world uh, for the things of God. Uh, but God told us in this day, uh, when the enemy come in like a flame, Blood, uh, lift up a holy standard. Uh, the holiness is still right. Uh, there shall be a highway uh, and it shall be called the way of holiness. Uh, holiness is not a denomination uh, but it's a lifestyle. Glory be to God. Uh, and when you live according to God uh, you can feel the feathers uh, and the chains and the shackles uh, being loosened off of your vessel uh, because you are the Understand uh, that the Lord is your strong tower. Uh, he's your shield and your buckler. Uh, and he'll fight your battle. Uh, the battle is not yours. Uh, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Uh, amen. Glory be to God because the Lord told us, believe in the Lord thy God. Amen. And you shall be blessed. Glory be to God. Believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. Glory be to God. And he tells us now that even though the enemy come in like a flood, uh, amen, we're going to lift up a standard. He might come in one way, but he shall flee seven ways. That's why I stand on what this word says. Uh, if the word spoken, I believe it and God has, uh, amen, the ability to bring it up again. Uh, glory be to God. But you must wait on the Lord uh, and you must acknowledge that you hear uh, the instructions according to. Uh, amen. The word of God. Uh, God's battle plan is in the word. Uh, the weapons of our warfare are not cardinal, uh, but they are mighty through the pulling down of the strongholds of the enemy. Uh, he might get a grip, uh, but God will pull down his stronghold. Uh, he will break the band of wickedness. Uh, he will break the band of sickness. Uh, he will break the band of confusion. Uh, he will send your husband home. Uh, he will make your wife, glory be to God, God do right. Uh, he will make your children come to God. Uh, but we must stand on the foundation word uh, that God said it's possible uh, because if we abide in him uh, and he abide in us, uh, whatever we ask him, uh, we can ask him for what we will uh, and he shall do it. Uh, and even if the situation look bleak uh, and the circumstance is dark, uh, God can send a word uh, to even the valley of the dry bones. Uh, he can prophesy to death uh, and bring it alive again. Uh, he can go to the cave of death uh, and call Lazarus out the grave. Uh, he can call you forth out of your situation uh, because the God we serve uh, can answer by fire. Uh, the God we serve can answer, amen, in a moment, uh, because a prayer and an answer, uh, it cannot stay in heaven uh, at the same time, uh, but I want to testify and let you know uh, that even if God don't do it, uh, if he don't heal my body, uh, if he don't bring me out, uh, if he never bless me again, uh, I will testify uh, that he's still able, uh, for the God I serve uh, may not come when we want him, uh, but he's always on time uh, and our time is not his time uh, and our ways are not his way. Uh, some of you might have been waiting uh, for a mighty miracle for a long time uh, and it don't seem like God uh, has heard your cry uh, but I want you to lift up your heads, uh, O ye gates, uh, and be ye lifted up, uh, you everlasting arm, uh, for the king of glory shall come in uh, that God has set over your spirit fear uh, and your assignment in the house of God. Uh, that's why the word of God must be preached uh, in its fullness. Uh, for Romans the first chapter declared uh, that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, uh, but became vain in the imagination. Uh, you better watch out for those, glory be to God, uh, that come up with a new revelation uh, of an old standard in the word. Uh, Jesus said in his word, uh, I come 
come to do the work of my father. Uh, the Bible declared that he was the same yesterday. Uh, he's the same today. Uh, and he's the same forever. Uh, what he called sin yesterday, uh, he's calling sin today. Uh, and he will call it the same thing tomorrow. Uh, you can't come up with a philosophy uh, or a philosophical discourse uh, that will shift the authority of God's word uh, and di dilute the word of God uh, and bring it down to your satisfaction. Uh, but you must come up to the word. And you must live uh, according to the standard uh, from the Old Testament into the New. Uh, God has consistently allowed us to see uh, that if we believe in his word, uh, that we will be able to get victory. Uh, and every time God shows us, uh, amen, a mighty miracle in this present time, uh, it should increase our faith to trust him even the more. Uh, for the same God that delivered your past need, uh, amen, can bless you in this this hour of need. Uh, and so as the word of God begin, uh, amen, to become a living thing in your life uh, and you allow it to be your breastplate, uh, your helmet and your shield, uh, your, your buckler and your sword, uh, that the word of God will come uh, and it will cloak you with power. Uh, amen. It will infiltrate your spirit. Uh, it will hide itself in your belly uh, and out of your belly shall flow uh, the rivers of living water uh, for you will speak life to a dead situation. Uh, I command every foul evil spirit that will try to control God's word. Uh, amen. To be bound in the name of Jesus. Uh, we pray that God would anoint the feet, the mouths, and the hands uh, of the apostolic assignment uh, and the mandate that he put on the kingdom uh, to go out in the hedges and the highways uh, and compel through the word uh, men and women to come to God. Uh, amen. To take back, uh, amen, the authority in the houses of God, uh, amen, glory be to God, uh, and to go down to the enemy's camp, uh, and return what he stole from the temple, uh, you see, sometimes the enemy creep in, uh, and he try to snatch out praise, uh, he try to snatch out healing, uh, he try to snatch out miracles, uh, he says those were things of the old, uh, but I heard God say, uh, that the miracles signs and wonders uh, shall follow them that believe uh, in my name they shall cast out devils uh, you see sometimes you got to understand people of God uh, that the devils in this day uh, they don't have pointed ears uh, and tails glory be to God uh, the devils these days uh, they come into church in sheep clothing uh, they know how to lift their hands uh, they know how to sing the songs uh, but there's very there's one identifier that, amen, will allow you to see the enemy. Uh, that is, they can't live uh, according to the gospel. Uh, and the gospel is only hid uh, to them that are lost. Uh, you see, if you're not lost, uh, if you mean business with God, uh, you would come uh, in the volume of the book. Uh, you won't pick a scripture uh, that will fit your sin. Uh, you won't pick a scripture uh, that will appease you in what you're doing, uh, but you would seek to please the Lord. Uh, you would seek to please, uh, amen, the Lord who created, uh, amen, heaven and earth, uh, and you would be honored uh, that he would recommend you uh, for the trials in your life. Uh, let's go back to Job, uh, when the Lord recommended him uh, unto the devil, uh, because he was, amen, a righteous man. Uh, he was upright, uh, and he eschewed evil. Uh, so you see sometimes uh, you're going through because you're living right. Uh, you're going through because you're doing right uh, and God wants to prove uh, to the enemy uh, that you're serving him uh, with your whole heart, uh, your whole mind, uh, your body and your spirit. Uh, so he tells the enemy uh, to test you in those areas uh, and God is dependent uh, on you men and women of God. 
to hold fast uh, to the apostolic mandate uh, and the authority that he placed in your hand, uh, that you would fight the good fight of faith, uh, that you would lay hold to eternal life, uh, that you would hold up the blood-stained banner, uh, that you would continue steadfastly uh, in the faith, uh, for the word of the Lord uh, is your strong tower.